Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 16th of 2020. Well, it is titled NGC 247 and friends. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy and NGC 247 is its catalog designation. It's a relatively small spiral galaxy a little bit smaller than our Milky Way or Milky Way about 100,000 light years across and this one only about 70,000 light years across. Now we see this galaxy nearly edge on so it looks very flattened and it actually has a void in it and you can see that down here towards the lower left side of the galaxy where there seems to be a portion of it where it seems to be missing stars and it has given it its name as the needle's eye galaxy here. Now within this image we not only see the a spiral galaxy with a lot of blue stars and pink hydrogen regions but we also see a large number of other galaxies as well. So if you look around the image anything that does not look just like a dot and generally does not have the cross pattern through it is actually another galaxy and one of the prominent groupings here is what is known as Burbage's chain and that's noted here down towards the bottom of the image and there are four galaxies relatively close together. Now when we look at things on the sky what looks close together may actually be very distant because we lose that third dimensional aspect we can't see the distance. And we know that the uh, top galaxy the larger one NGC 247 is about 11 million light years away. Burbage's chain on the other hand is 300 million light years away. So while they look close together on the sky they are actually very far apart in space. And we can also see other objects here we do see a number of stars and the stars that we note are actually within our own Milky Way so they are much closer only being hundreds or thousands of light years away as compared to the many millions for the distant galaxies. In most cases in the distant galaxies they are too far away for us to be able to resolve individual stars. We can do that for some of the closer galaxies but when you get to the galaxies like those in Burbage chain that are 300 million light years away, we see only the combined light of the stars, not the individual stars. So a star like the one in the upper right portion of NGC 247 is really just a star within our Milky Way that happens to lie along that line of sight towards this much more distant galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for January the 16th of 2020. It was titled NGC 247 and friends. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be in stereo. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.